of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Welcome, everybody, to our liturgy today. This is the third Sunday in Lent. I'm Father Michael Galuppi, pastor of the Church of St. Michael and St. Peter in Onondaga Hill, and of Our Lady of Hope in the Valley in Syracuse. And it's good to be with you this morning as we gather in prayer. Mindful of God's abundant mercy, we begin this celebration mindful of our own need for God's forgiveness so that we might more worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call not the righteous, but sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may be lifted by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his brother-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian, Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses in fire, flaming out of a bush. As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over there to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. He answered, here I am. God said, come no nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your fathers, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. But the Lord said, I have witnessed the affliction of my people in Egypt and have heard their cry of complaint against their slave drivers. So I know well what they are suffering. Therefore, I have come down to rescue them from the hands of the Egyptians and lead them out of that land into a good and spacious land a land flowing with milk and honey. Moses said to God, but when I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, if they ask me, what is his name? What am I to tell them? God replied, 
I am who am. Then he added, this is what you shall tell the Israelites. I am sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses. Thus shall you say, shall you say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. Thus am I to be remembered through all generations. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and all of them were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from a spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was the Christ. Yet God was not pleased with most of them, for they were struck down in the desert. These things happened as an example for us, so that we might not desire evil things as they did. Do not grumble as some of them did and suffer death by the destroyer. These things happened to them as an example and they have been written down as a warning to us upon whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, whoever thinks he is standing secure should take care not to fall. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. Jesus said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, that they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, Do you think they were more guilty than anyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And then he told them this parable. There was once a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard, and when he came in search of fruit on it but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none, so cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? But he said to him in reply, Sir, leave it for this year also, and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. What is mercy? Some would say that mercy is perhaps a lighter sentence or not exactly getting uh, what we deserve uh, with regard to to punishment. The theologian Robert Levitt uh, has said this though. His understanding of mercy is that mercy is time. Mercy is giving us time, time to fix our lives, times Time to improve, time to change, time to fix broken relationships. Both St. Paul and Jesus, if you, if you look at this thought that mercy is time, I think it gives a good understanding to the readings that we had just heard. Used as an example, the people of Israel, 40 years traversing through the desert, how did they use their time? It says that not all of them used that time wisely. We know that their relationship with the Lord was up and down. But this time in the desert was meant to teach them reliance upon the Lord. And many of them did not heed that lesson. And Jesus, conversely, uses this image of time in this parable about the fig tree, in which this tree that has not borne fruit in three years, exhausting the soil, The patience of the gardener is running out, but, but, he is urged, give it one more year. Give it more time. Perhaps, with the right attention, with the right care, it will bear fruit. We began this 40-day season of Lent hearing that this is the acceptable time. The time is now. And we have been given this sacred time to improve our own relationship with God, with self, with others. How have we used this time? Three weeks into the season of Lent. Have we used it well? Could we do better? I think the readings today remind us that God's mercy given to us in the form of time is not to be wasted, but rather is to be used. To be used wisely so that we might grow we might fix relationships in our lives. We might come back to the Lord. We might be rooted. For we don't know when time for us will run out. We know not the day nor the hour. So let us wisely use the time that we have been given. Let us wisely use the gift of God's mercy. Together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now bring our needs and the needs of the world before our merciful Father. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit strengthen her in teaching God's law in spirit and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, especially within our diocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may seek di diplomatic solutions to the conflict and war, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering any type of disease or affliction, especially from the coronavirus, may Christ, the divine physician, bring them comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our diocesan family of faith, may the Lord bless us in our Lenten journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may Christ who died for us welcome them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, with confident hope in your love for us, we ask you to hear our prayers and grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Unless a grain of wheat shall fall upon the ground and die, it remains but a single grain with no If we have died with him, then we shall live with him. If we hold firm, we shall reign with him. Unless a grain of wheat shall fall upon the ground and die, it but a single grain with no life. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings and grant that we who beseech pardon for our own sins may take care to forgive our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks humble our sinful pride, and contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so, 
Help us to imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. <coughs> holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time when he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, again gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and the resurrection of Christ, your Son, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we too may be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family united in Christ, let us pray together now in the words that our Savior gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from every distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us together now and in life everlasting. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to its true completion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace now, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God bless everyone. Faith <laughs>